Good evening, friends. You're listening to our ongoing Manifesting Success series. I'm your host, Joseph Brito. Tonight, we have a special treat for you, as we always do. You know, we pride ourselves in bringing the most mentally stimulating and thought-provoking guests anywhere, and tonight is definitely no exception. Our next guest coming to us live from Baltimore, Maryland, is motivational speaker and life coach, Oscar Mike. Did I say that right? Yes, I did, Oscar Mike. Well, I'll let our guest tell you how he came to be called Oscar Mike, but before we bring him on, let's tell you a little more about him. Oscar Mike grew up in the inner city of Baltimore and served as one of America's finest in the United States Marine Corps. He also earned his master's degree in public administration and currently continues his service to this great country as a lieutenant in the United States Navy as a surface warfare officer. He speaks about the innate power of success that we all possess and how it changed his life. Oscar Mike, good evening and thanks for being with us. Thanks, Joseph. It's a pleasure to speak to your audience. Let's get this started. I'm really happy to be here. Oscar Mike, I guess the first question our listeners might have for you is, what's the story behind your name, Oscar Mike? Or is that some type of government, top secret, super spy type stuff that you can't tell anyone about? No, no, no. Actually, a lot of people ask me that, you know, about Oscar Mike and that being my real name. Uh, My real name is Marvin Jones. Uh, Oscar Mike, uh, for me, it equals, you know, on the move. I feel as though that in life, if you're staying still, then you're falling behind and not falling forward. So I decided to take on the alias Oscar Mike to remind myself to always be on the move, always be moving forward, always be looking for right in life. You know what I mean? So that's why I took on that alias. Oscar Mike, I bet as a Navy lieutenant, the government keeps you on the move. Yeah, that's right. But where's home base for you? Well, I'm originally from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, My parents were both 16 years old when they had me. They had me at a real young age, so my grandmother raised me mostly in my early years. Uh, Growing up in Baltimore was hard, as you can probably imagine. Uh, You're exposed to a lot of crime and violence at an early age. And I ended up growing up in a lot of the rough neighborhoods and uh, projects and got into a lot of trouble growing up. And what was early life like in Baltimore for the young Oscar Mike? As I said before, you know, growing up in Baltimore was rough. Uh, My mother was a single parent of five children and struggled to make ends meet. Uh, We frequently, you know, moved around a lot, uh, mostly in areas that were populated with drugs, violence, prostitution, you know, stuff that's cliche or even quintessential for, you know, inner city life. Uh, When I was about 10, my mother moved my sisters and I to Portsmouth, Virginia, where we lived in, you know, low-income housing uh, throughout Portsmouth. We even moved to, you know, a place called uh, Alibaba Projects in Portsmouth as well. Uh, It was very rough there, you know, especially because I didn't speak like everyone else. You know, I was coming from the city and, you know, coming to a more rural or country area or whatever. People made fun of me. And because of that, I got into fights all the time. was, you know, frequently suspended from school. Um, After a couple of years in Virginia, I moved back to Baltimore to live with my father in high school. And uh, during my high school years, I started to rebel and act out even more. I even failed the ninth grade and got involved with the wrong crowd, you know, started committing violent crimes and was arrested, you know, multiple times times. I, you know, I had a bad attitude and didn't even, you know, value life or education, but, but somehow, some way, I, I don't understand it, I, I found a way to graduate, uh, luckily, but I, you know, I only graduated with a, a 1.9 uh, GPA. Were there any turning point decisions you made to change your life, or was there an event that changed your life for the better? I guess, you know, the turning point was, you know, the summer after I graduated from high school, I decided um, that I would give community college a try. You know, a lot of my friends were, you know, going to school or, you know, trying to do something, although most of them never graduated. You know, I saw them doing something, so I said, you know, I should try to do something as well. Um, so I decided to go to community college. I tried it out, and I ended up quitting a couple of months into my first semester. But I realized something. I realized that it was something I actually could do. Uh, One day I was sitting at home and thought about what I should do with my life. And at the time, I really didn't know what that was supposed to be. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life uh, or where I wanted to go. But I figured that in order for me to be successful, I probably had to get out of the environment that I was in at the time, you know, living in Baltimore uh, and stop hanging around the crowd that I was hanging out with. So a couple of months later, probably about December of 98, I decided to join the Marine Corps, and uh, I started Marine Corps boot camp in uh, January 1999. 
you know, while I was in the Marine Corps, I found out that tuition assistance was available for service members, so I started taking classes at Hawaii Pacific University. I attended the classes in the evenings and on the weekends and uh, in between my deployments that I was doing at the time and when I wasn't working. After taking classes for a couple of years, I began to become more confident in my abilities and realized that I could actually graduate. So I started taking a full load of courses and worked towards multiple degrees. Uh, I started to believe in myself and dedicate all of my energy to obtaining those goals. Well, that's definitely a long way from the projects of Baltimore, Oscar Mike. I commend you on graduating high school. Uh, what is your educational background? education in the in 2004 when I finished at Hawaii Pacific University I graduated with associate's degrees in accounting and supervisory leadership and a bachelor's degree in justice administration after finishing my undergrad degrees I went on to Central Michigan and finished a master's in public administration I'm currently working on a graduate certificate in uh, national security and also a another uh, master's degree in homeland security well, you're surely an example to all those young men and women who are listening tonight, and hopefully those young men and women who are listening from the Baltimore area. What is your life like now, Oscar Mike? Well, life now is great. I'm married to my bride of 10 years, and we have two beautiful children, two boys to be exact. Uh, after I got out of the Marine Corps, I worked in corporate America for about a year. In April of 2008, I was accepted to Officer Candidate School for the Navy. I graduated Navy OCS as an honor graduate, and I'm currently a lieutenant in the United States Navy, recently returning from a combat tour uh, in Afghanistan. Well, I understand you give talks in the Baltimore area and all throughout the nation. Uh, what, what is it about motivational speaking? Or I guess the better question might be, why motivational speaking? I like to speak and I like to help others and I feel as though I'm in a good place in my life and in my career and it's time for me to give back. I want to help motivate others to fulfill their dreams and understand that their past is not necessarily a true depiction of their future. I want to help others realize that if you can believe it, you can achieve it. What the mind believes, the mind can achieve. You know, a lot of people go throughout life and they never are willing to take that risk to venture out or even have that self-love to say that, you know what, I can do it. I can really do this. And that's that's what haunted me for many of years until I realized that I can do things and I can do things well. So it's now it's my time to, you know, help motivate others so they can get to the level I'm at or even beyond, actually. You know, so, you know, that's my goal. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. And, you know, I put my mind to it. And now, you know, that's why I've become a motivational speaker. Well, Oscar Mike, looks like we've come to the end of our time. I wanted to thank you for sharing your story with us. I'm sure our listeners found it to be truly inspirational. I also wanted to thank you on behalf of our listeners for your service to our great nation. In case any of our listeners tonight are interested in booking you for a motivational speech or any type of event, how might they contact you? Joe, I want to thank you for having me on the show and letting me tell my story to the listeners out there. If you want to contact me, you can first check out my YouTube page, Oscar Mike Bravo, or email me at OscarMikeSpeaks at gmail.com. And you can also find me on Facebook at Oscar Mike Speaks as well. Again, it's been great being on the show, and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you and having the opportunity to speak to you at one of my future events. Well, all right, listeners, we have to take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we'll have the answers to last week's trivia question. So don't go anywhere. You are on the air with Joseph Rito, and we'll be right back.